Men's NCAA basketball, live from Freedom Hall, number one ranked UNLV faces Louisville. John Madden's Super Bowl special, the season premiere of the PGA Tour, live from Scottsdale, Arizona, the Phoenix Open. From the network of the 1992 Olympic Winter Games, next, CBS Sports presents NCAA basketball. Kentucky home of one of the winningest programs in the NCAA and today the Cardinals will host the undisputed heavyweight champions of college basketball the top ranked running rebels of UNLV. everyone, I'm James Brown along with the coach Bill Raftery. Well, the most feared and potent team in all of college basketball is the Running Rebels. They score over 100 points a game and are paced by the likes of Stacey Altman and Larry Johnson. Really, their offense gets an awful lot of attention, but it's really their stingy defense that's the key. JB, you're the only guy that can beat these guards, I think, defensively. But up front, they've got Stacey Altman, one of the great deniers in college basketball. He prevents his man from getting the ball or pushes him out as far as possible, making it tougher to go to the goal. And of course, alongside of them. The big guy, the big fella, Larry Johnson. Big, strong, tough, but extremely mobile. Quick to block shots and quick to get rebounds. Hey, Billy, protecting the ball today is a must for Louisville, but this is not a typical Louisville squad. They're struggling at 7-8. and eight. Inexperience is one of the reasons why, so that means point guard LeBradford Smith, the senior, must shoulder more responsibility. They've moved them over, and it's a tough position for him. He's really a two-guard. He's got to value the basketball, get it over the timeline, and then make the first pass to the forward or the high post. Obviously, they'd like to get him into the scoring mode as well. All right, Louisville would like nothing better than to be an inhospitable guest today. It'll be Louisville and UNLV coming up in a wide-open game, starting lineups after this. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by the American Express Gold Card. The principal financial group, financial products that give you an edge. And by Bud Dry. Why ask why? Try Bud Dry for refreshment that's beyond question. Those April showers. Dinner with Amanda. You remember that? Conference in Colorado? Ah, yes. You used to hate April. Taxes, sorting through receipts. But as a Gold Card member, you get this year-end summary of charges. Itemized, civilized, far less taxing. Whenever April showers. The Gold Card. Only from American Express. Don't leave home without it. In financial matters, as in life, everybody's different. Different needs, different goals. The Principal Financial Group understands our financial services are as unique and individual as you are. Personalized solutions that offer each customer an advantage. That's the Principal Edge. It's made us one of America's largest. So for diversified products that fit your financial needs to the letter, look for the Principal Edge. Sub with lean Oscar Mayer ham or roast beef and be a hero. I used to have dandruff, so I tried Head and Shoulders. Then I tried Selsun Blue. Blue is better. Selsun Blue relieves dandruff flecking better than Head and Shoulders, and doctors recommend it more than Head and Shoulders, Danorex, and Tegrin. Blue is better. Selsun Blue. How do I know where to get my brakes done right? Come to Midas. You get a lot of value for the price, plus peace of mind. Knowing the job will be done right. That's why more people come to us for breaks, knowing that nobody beats Midas. Nobody. A typical scene here in Freedom Hall, a packed house in anticipation of an up-and-down game between the Cardinals and the Rebels. 
And the lineups for today's game, UNLV, a familiar five, Johnson, Hogman, Ackles, Hunt, and Greg Anthony. A couple of changes, Holden, Sullivan, Tremaine Wingfield will be at the center spot of a freshman, James Brewer also at guard, and LeBradford Smith. Jerry Tarkanian, in his 18th year at UNLV, having a lot of fun, says he absolutely loves his squad, and why wouldn't he? A five that many consider the best in college basketball. Uh, and an Eastern shirt, long sleeves. <laughs> and Denny Crum, struggling on the floor and with his health today, mm -hmm. has a bad cold. But he says, hey, you learn through adversity and we're gonna make it through it. And what a tonic to play Vegas when you're not feeling well. What a tonic, what a tonic. Today's officials for the contest, a familiar and veteran threesome, Rusty Herring, Larry Rose, and Sam Croft. Last time UNLV came here, two years ago, the Cardinals blew them out by 18. As if the Rebels need some motivation, they do in fact say revenge is uppermost in their minds. UNLV excellent on the road, 17 consecutive road wins, 25 straight, they're undefeated at 14-0. Throws a tap. This is James Brewer, sophomore for the Cardinals. Look around for Smith. Everett Sullivan. And you will see the Rebels up and down the court quickly. He will Sullivan. take the threes. Look tap from behind as LeBrafter Smith knocked the ball loose from Anderson Hunt, and it'll be Cardinals ball. Billy, we might see a much looser Cardinals squad because no one expects them to win. It's at a conference. They're comfortable. Actually, they're happy with their play. They just don't know how to win at this point in the season in the tough schedule. Vegas, man to man. One of the best, most complete guards in the country, Greg Anthony defending LeBrafter Smith. Ooh. Ackles with the rebound. A much more confident George Ackles in the lineup for UNLV this year. And Bradford knocks yet a second ball loose. This one from Greg Anthony. If you're Denny Crum, and in talking to him yesterday, you've got to get shots. Both trips now, good shots. They got to continue. Don't turn it over. From the wing, Stacy Alvin and Billy, that's something he's worked on religiously over the summer to become more of a threat. He told me that he worked as hard as he possibly could because he knew that was the one dimension he didn't possess, the outside shot. So that three shot by Stacy Alvin, the Rebels on top by one, three to two. They're settling for the jumper. I think it's a wise decision. If I go in traffic and get it sent back. Sullivan. Off the mark, Brewer with the rebound, stripped, blocked by Larry Johnson, and here come the Rebels, but a foul whistled underneath. I think they got Stacey Ogman for this one, but activity, you don't back off. Obviously, you have to have the utmost respect for Vegas coming in. They are awesome. Great starting lineup, good bench, and defensively, this man par excellence. I, I just can't get over the job he's done. Switching from his own at Long Beach to Manta Man at University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And knocked out of bounds by George Ackles. Pressing pressure, man-to-man -man defense by the Rebels. Trademark. There's the old time out of bounds. Celtic out of bounds. Pop a guy back. Smith. Good pump fake. LeBradford Smith in the paint. Usually they'll go to Johnson, but not yet. Hunt. And Augman with the rebound. Good hustle by James Brewer. And it'll stay UNLV ball. Tark likes to get the big guy involved when they feel they're in danger. Obviously, with the long jumpers, they don't need him. Not the greatest of shooting early on. Both teams warming up like two heavyweights. Actually, a heavyweight against maybe a middleweight, huh? Mm -hmm. Hoping to play like a heavyweight. Nice defense here by Holt. Johnson, nice pass to Augman, and Augman scores and is fouled. That's that high-low they run so beautifully. If it goes to the box, the run selfish. And we talk about family teams, Massimino's club of Villanova comes to mind. This club enjoys one another. Obviously, the loyalty and teamwork exhibited both on and off the floor by them staying at Vegas when they had a chance to go elsewhere. 
Altman with the miss, but rebounded and lost control. This is Everett Sullivan for the Cardinals for two. And rebounded by Ackles, lost the handle. Good hustle in the corner by LeBradford Smith. And we talked about him having to shoulder more responsibility. He's showing it by his leadership. He's had a lot of people here, a lot of scouts to see him, to see how he performs in a stressful situation. But I'm impressed with Louisville taking the game with confidence for the open jump shot, not turning the ball over. A lot of movement on offense by the Rebels. This is Anderson Hunt. And Hunt so quick to the rim. ball. But a good second effort. Anderson Hunt, the MVP of the Final Four last year with his first basket. Great streak shooter. And here's one. And quickly, the Rebels Ooh. living up to their nickname. Can and he, Johnson with the basket. Can he run? Oh, he can get him up and down with the little guys. At 6'7", 250. It's a 9-4 Rebels lead. 17-20 remaining in the first half. Little nickel dimer by Hunt. In your heyday, you used to get a three-second violation <laughs> going to the goal for a layup. Talk about being quick, huh? <laughs> For lack of speed. But that's what's most impressive about Johnson. Multi-positional. Man has an easy time picking clothing, doesn't he? Boy. Little shirt and tie, relaxes. First personal, Anderson Hunt. Smith, scoop shot. Can't get the roll. But it stays Cardinals basketball. Now, this is a test for the officials, too. This game's going to be played up over the tin. And you anticipate as a referee, because you're not used to so many big people being that active. Wingfield at the starting center spot in place of Troy Smith. And Brewer rebounded by Everett Sullivan. Troy Smith, the starting center, has two sprained knees, and that's why Wingfield has gotten a start today. Mm -hmm. And he's an active player, too, Wingfield. He's a quick jumper. Not a bad inside player and has some activity. Because Denny Crum has banged heads as a junior college coach at Stark. Said I had the same problem there. He won. Mm -hmm. He said he also proved he was a good recruiter as a junior college coach in California. Well, Bradford Smith. This is a good defense now. It's his zone. They're very active and challenge people. Sullivan responds to the challenge. Had a game high 26 on Thursday night against Southern Miss. They just break it down with the pressure dribble, Vegas. Johnson at 6'7", 250, showing his mobility. Inside to Johnson, and uses that body nicely. He, he just knows because of his derriere where the people are. Hands up, you can't force it. Nice play by Anthony. UNLV averaging 11 steals per game. That's why I mentioned protecting the ball so important Look at for this. the Cardinals as Johnson using his body to protect the shot. Anytime you get it to three-second lane, you're dead, particularly if Larry has the basketball. Six points on the afternoon for Larry Johnson. It's a 13-6 running Rebels lead, and it goes back Rebels' way. And we've got a timeout on the action here at Freedom Hall. 15-54 remaining in the half. Rebels on top by seven. Why do women always know when you're not telling them the whole story? And why do they always change plans at the last minute? And why do we keep putting up with them? Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. It's cold filtered for smooth draft taste and dry brewed for no aftertaste. So while women may remain a mystery, refreshment won't. I'm a second half quarterback. Yeah, that was a stellar performance. Oh. <laughs> Fifteen pieces of chicken or a supersized bucket of hot wings, just $9.99 each. Anytime you're ready, gentlemen. Super buckets from KFC. Come on, Dad. Hey, Tom, why in the world would future Hall of Famer Nolan Ryan be shaving way out here in the Texas Hills? I don't know, Mel. I guess he never knows when he'll be called upon to make a pitch. The big metal shaver, because even good old boys want to look good. To introduce Isuzu's new rodeo, we've placed it and Toyota's 4Runner in this campground to see which is better for family fun. Sure, the rodeo has more horsepower and rear anti-locking brakes, but another key difference is that only the rodeo seats six. So, combined with its price, thousands less than 4Runner, we see that only in a rodeo, no one gets stung. The new Isuzu Rodeo. At just $12,499, there's no comparison. 
When Miles gets a love letter, Murphy and the gang have the perfect reply. I drive a brand new BMW and wear an unusually large shoe. It's Matchmaking Murphy Brown, Monday. JB, the reason I'm with you is that I didn't have big, strong guys posting up, as you'll see, Larry Jump. But right here, the key is the pass to the outside hand so that you can then drop step to the basket. Look at the big guy. Step in, take out Holden, and just say goodnight when he's that close. Big, strong, and intelligent about where he happens to be on the floor. Might have to try some front. The Rebels on a 10-2 run the last two and a half minutes. Improving their field goal shooting, six of eight. They lead it 13-6. to six. There, There's what you talked about. They did front low. The problem you have is they take away the inside help defense. And the quick hands of the Rebels after a back and forth sequence and Augman with the jumper. There was Stacey Augman with seven points and the Rebels 15 to six lead. They're a spurt team and as you noted earlier, off the defense. They get too many easy baskets. We talk about spurts and lack of some scoring spurts have hurt the Cardinals this season. Uh, out in the open here where you're vulnerable to an easy basket. And Anthony after the steal and score is fouled. Greg Anthony, interesting story, who thought coming out of high school that he was not going to be much of a basketball player, a complete one now. Well, he's going to be a great talent at the next step, too. Here, the swiping ability. His first game, of course, to finish rather simple for a talent like this. You can't turn it over in that vulnerable area leading to a goal. You must get shots. The fear that Denny Crum had coming in. Averaging 11 on the season. This is the basket but it's off the foot of Cornelius Holden and it'll be Rebels ball. They gotta get in it now. Showing signs of intimidation right now. Their head not in the game. They've got some ability, it's valuing the basketball that's been their problem. Duran Webb into the contest for the Cardinals as Tremaine Winsfield takes a seat on the bench. And Kip Stone, a freshman, coming in to replace James Brewer. They stretch the zone with their ability to shoot deep. And Johnson holding his position with the rebound and is fouled. I think they Actually have been pushed back by Everett Sullivan, but maintained that good position once he was there. And the strength as LeBradford from the rear helped out. LeBradford Smith with his first personal foul. Team's third. Well, Denny Crum had Scooter McCray out recruiting. He said, Coach, I saw a high school team run a trick play. We should use it. He said, Scooter, we need some tricky players. <laughs> and, of course, Scooter McCray, a great player for Denny Crum. Well, that's the choice. You don't want to foul. I would prefer Ackle shooting the ball than Johnson. So if you could channel it away from Larry, easier said than done. And that's something I'm sure Denny Crum will remind the freshman, Kip Stone, who committed the foul. Well, Denny's been tough on this team. He installed a dress code for the road. Academic requirements. They have a new academic advisor. A 2-0 being installed by the school now each semester. So if a kid gets a 1-8 and a 2-2, he's ineligible. It's gotta be a 2-0. It's gotta be a 2-0 each semester. And Billy, let me correct myself, that was actually Cornelius Holden committing the foul his first as Ackles misses both free throws, only a 51% free throw shooter. So the lead stays at 11, 17-6, Rebels. JB, when you come into this game, if you're Louisville and Benny Crump, their pressure is good, so you need a pressure release man. Somebody has to pop up to get the outlet pass so you can initiate your offense. Sullivan for three. the loose ball. Augman with a nice pass to Johnson. Well, earlier, he had elbowed and gotten away with it, but that is a tough pass from the point. Augman down low to Johnson. Larry Johnson picking up his first personal foul. Team third. Larry and LeBradford, of course, from Texas, and uh, LeBradford said he likes to talk during the game. I expect a little whooping. Cornelius Holden. Good defense by Larry Johnson and deflected the ball. Rebounded by Ackles. 
Anthony to Augman. Good aggressive man to man. Better than I've seen of Louisville in tapes. There's, they've emptied the side now. They can, there you go. So you can't get the help when you're front of them. And Johnson just manhandling Cornelius Holden on the inside. Holden at 210, giving away 40 pounds to Larry Johnson. Johnson, four of four in the paint. So their approach to offense is unselfish. So you, they see you fronting. They take the big guy on the other box away. They can dump it over the top. I'm sure Holden feels like he's defending George Foreman <laughs> and has the weight of Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, he is tough. There's a the little screen down and the dip in LeBradford. Billy, look at the Rebels defense keeping the ball on the perimeter. Oh, they're trying to, I thought if you could dribble, penetrate, and kick it, you could get jump shots. And that's exactly what Everett Sullivan was trying, and he's hit on the back of the head. So Everett Sullivan will head to the free throw line as he's fouled in the back of the head. Uh, JB, you were a good player. This is an impossible task, and man to man, if you don't get help. But what Vegas does, they eliminate the back people, so all of a sudden there's room to throw the lob. You can see Hunt getting into the play really shouldn't have been down there, almost caused a turnover. But they're a heady play. Elmore Spencer, seven foot junior college transfer into the lineup for the Rebels. And Augman loses the ball out of bounds. It'll be Cardinals ball. Love Radford Smith, Kip Stone, Duran Webb, Everett Sullivan, and Cornelius Holden, the five on the floor for the Cardinals. Anthony, freshman to freshman. Nice, nice pass to Love Radford. Good pump fake. And Spencer with the rebound. Nice outlet. Wes Unseld like. And Hunt with the slam. Uh, that's the problem. Hunt has the license to take off on every shot. They're confident that four guys can get the rebound. They sneak him long. You, if you're, if he's playing here, you must go back with him, James. You can't just let him take off. Potentially, Elmore Spencer, the most talented big man that Jerry Tarkanian has had in his program. Well, this, and a nice Wes Unseld looking break. Big, strong. They can play bigger with him in there. But this is the old chippy hangy. Remember this? You never like the guy in the playground to do this, but Hunt, a, a very good at it, and also that ability if he has to fan out to shoot the three. And Hunt with the steal on the errant pass and making the Cardinals pay for it. A 23-9 Rebels lead with 12.08 remaining in the first half. Louisville has turned the ball over five times. Nice look. Sullivan from Smith. Too high a pass. Pretty Sullivan. Don't give up easy baskets at one end. Come back strong. Find the passing lane. This is where LeBradford has improved his game. Send it in, Everett. But they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe now, and they can if they get back and don't give up the easy baskets. That's an important aspect of this game for them. The hot hand for Louisville. Everett Sullivan, 5 of 8 from the field. The rest of the Cardinals, only 1 of 8. Hunt for 3. Unperturbed look on the faces of the Rebels. Oh, they're so confident. Kip Stone. This is Webb. Let that one go quicker than he wanted. That's intimidation on the inside. They're relentless, and they power the ball up so quickly. Johnson, a man on the inside, blocked by Sullivan, but gets his own rebound. And Larry Johnson having his way on the inside and fun. It's a day on the beach, fellas. Oh, 10 points for Larry Johnson already. He carves up so much room down low, it's impossible to move him. Johnson leading the Rebels in scoring at just under 23 a game. And Greg Anthony all over LeBrath and Smith. 
I saw Anthony's first game in Vegas. The scouts were going crazy. They had over 30 points. Stole, it wasn't anything he couldn't do. Stole it, ran the break, guarded his guy. Just incredible ability. And that's where it all starts. The two guards pressuring the ball. Into the lineup for the Rebels, Everett Gray, a 6'7 sophomore. And Billy, this is not a mistake. H. Waldman also into the lineup for the Rebels. That's his first name, H. <laughs> As McGrath for Smith goes for the second free throw. And the Cardinals trying to chip away, trailing by 13 with 10.46 remaining in the half. In time, all definitions must be revised. But when it came to redefining luxury, it wasn't a Webster, it was Oldsmobile, the all-new 98. Now you can have anti-lock brakes, fuel-efficient power, computerized suspension, technology found in cars costing thousands more, which by my definition could be the greatest luxury of all. And you can always take a Webster at his word. This is the new, the new 98, luxury redefined. Generation of Oldsmobile. It is magical, powerful, essential. At GTE, we place that power at the touch of your hand. The power to open any darkness, to illuminate the facts of science, brighten the arenas of sports and business, create the warm glow that means home. At GTE, we give you the power of Sylvania light in 6,000 ways, none of them small. At GTE, the power is on. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish my old partner was here tonight because this used to be our song. I have everything. All my dreams come true. Eddie. You're in my arms, stocks and bombs. Brenda, hope for two. In the movies, happy endings are easy. But in the real world, they take solid planning. So for peace of mind, investment advice, even buying or selling your home, come to the companies of the Prudential and build your future on the rock. Coming up next, Madden brings you a Super Bowl special. Tonight, he fixes all Madden team. It's Madden from day to night. NCAA doubleheader action coming your way tomorrow afternoon as the Hoyas of Georgetown travel up to Pittsburgh in a Big East clash, always tough Big East. And Kenny Anderson and company travel to Tar Heel country to take on a deep North Carolina squad. That will be coming your way tomorrow. Right here at UNLV, over top of Louisville, 28 to 15. Oh, Anderson Hunt out of the gate strong. They played in Detroit against Michigan State. Larry Johnson highly upset they played in Detroit, L.A. for Augman. He wanted to know, oh, is the big guy, Sensor. jump hook. And Larry wanted to know, Tark, how come you didn't go to Dallas for me? He said, oh, I apologize, I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> That was Elmore Spencer with the jump, left-handed hook. This is the amoeba, as they call it. They exchange spots on the wings and pressure the ball. Nice Good luck. touch pass from Sullivan to Holden. Oh. And tapped in by oh. Derwin Webb. <laughs> was that offensive interference? Close, though. No, close, but great activity. Gray, Spencer, Waldman, Johnson, Hunt. The squad in for the Rebels, and this is Brewer for the Cardinals. Nice strip by Waldman. Mm. Oh, is he a prospect? You mentioned H. His father and grandfather called Herb. The mother would have no more Herbs. <laughs> so she called him simply H. H. <laughs> he said he get teased about it. He said quite a bit. Sullivan misses on the slam. Here come the Rebels. Numbers four on one. Too high for Larry Johnson, and it'll be Cardinals ball. Well, this is fun for him. I mean, he knows there isn't anybody out there physically that can contest with him, but what's incredible is his running ability to get down in the middle of everything. And LeBradford Smith on the bench for the Cardinals, so their floor leader out. It's Brewer, Kipstone with the ball here, and the shot. Rebounded by Cornelius Holden, knocked loose. This is Sullivan. He can compete with the best of them inside. Great jumping ability. You can get a shot on the baseline if you're patient. The Cardinals 
don't have any size this year, and they're giving up a lot of size with this squad in here now. <laughs> and Brewer with the attempted dunk, followed by Cornelius Holden, the junior. His first basket of the afternoon. Just make the layup. And Everett Gray, a charging foul indeed. Good defense by Everett Sullivan. The defense hasn't been bad. It's the offense and the judgment at that end. 8.45 remaining in the first half. Rebels on top 30 to 19. James Brown along with Bill Raftery and Andrea Joyce is on hand. As LeBradford Smith comes back into the lineup, replacing Kip Stone for the Cardinals. So it's LeBradford Smith, James Brewer, Cornelius Holden, Duran Webb, and Everett Sullivan, the five for Louisville. Travis Bice into the contest for the running Rebels. Shooter. That's the shot you're going to get if you're patient. Holden. Ogden with the rebound. It's a 3-2 offense by Vegas trying to post up their big people. And boy, are the running Rebels on fire. 70% from the field. Sullivan picks up his second personal foul. And it'll be the team fifth. You always pay for dribble penetration. Down low, not a bad job, but all of a sudden, and this is something Vegas is terrific at. If you give them a seam to turn the corner, now you have to step up, and that's when they run that loop. And that's the first person on Everett Sullivan. Bice, three-point shooter, but he's inside the stripe there for two. Travis Bice, at only 168 pounds, said he's gained 20 pounds since he's been in college. Uh, I don't know where. He's, my, he's got my legs out there. <laughs> he said from weightlifting and dining a little bit. There's the penetration in the dish. And nice pass, and Duran Webb converts. Still an 11-point Rebels lead. Ackles blocked by Tremaine Wingfield. Now, you know, obviously a foul, but you'll take that kind of foul. That's the anticipation by an official, too, though. I'd like to see that play finish before they shoot that P. Great activity on both ends. Ackles, not a good free throw shooter at all. 51% on the season. And he gets the drop. Not a shooter's drop, though. <laughs> Actually shooting much better from the field at 71%. Look at Nevada, Las Vegas. Then at the free throw line. They're one for six. Look at that pass. Ackles with the travel. You know, Billy, not a bad idea on the part of Denny Crum to play an up-tempo game. He's not got a quick start in there. you got to challenge them and take the quick shots. That way you eliminate the defense. It's a little easier. Where the pros are stars and the stars play like pros. AT&T Pebble Beach. From the Far East to Europe. Across the Caribbean and throughout North America, only one airline covers so much of the world with so much warmth. We love in celebrating the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. My grandfather loved the unknown. I want a sure thing. I drive a new kind of Oldsmobile, the all-new Bravada. Perfect for this jungle because it's got smart trap. 
A new anti-lock braking and all-wheel drive system that automatically sends power to the wheel that needs it. So I'm ready for the unexpected. Whether I'm traveling across the river and into the trees. This is the new generation. Or just visiting your old man in the sea. Bravada, engineered for the unexpected. JB, this amoeba defense, the cover man comes from here and has to play the basket. We'll see as they reverse the basketball, the ability to find somebody free. The drop down, of course, now here's Cornelius in the middle and on the baseline, an open jumper, and of course they hit Cornelius in the lane. So I think the key is to pry on one side, reverse the ball, shape up in the three second lane, and possibly get the corner jumper. So Louisville, I think with the philosophy of the quick shot, if it's there, valuing the ball and handling the amoeba, it's still going to be tough. Without a doubt. <laughs> An enthusiastic pack crowd on hand here at Freedom Hall as James Brewer goes up for the fake and it's knocked out of bounds. The original starting five back on the floor for the Rebels. And good hand by Stacy Algren, considered the best defensive player in America. Gorgeous footwork. 19,300 strong here at Freedom Hall. Always a sellout whenever the Cardinals are playing. They're hosting the top-ranked running Rebels. And it's been the stingy defense leading to the fast break of the Rebels that have him out in front by 10 over the Cardinals. Bad judgment. And a turnover by the Cardinals. Hunt. Followed by Johnson. Picking up the pieces. And a classic example of the defense leading to the offense. 14 first half points. Make it 12 for Larry Johnson. Now, you, you can't blame the balance. It's the turnover in key area. You can't get people in the right position defensively. Brewer for three. This fifth. Brewer doing a nice job on Anderson Hunt. He got back on defense. Augman. Oh and just when the crowd wants to get involved, Stacy Augman quiets them with his ninth point of the afternoon. Difficulty in running your set. Vegas so disruptive. Good shot, though. Johnson with the rebound. Here come the Rebels. Dead's always up on Anthony. Larry Johnson attempting the three. LeBrat to Smith. Ahead to Sullivan. Brewer for three. Turn and fire. They are in great shape, too. Augman, a blocking foul whistle on LeBrandford Smith. Good and really, we talk so much again about the offense, but it's the defense of the Rebels. But James, look where this, uh, this mistake takes place. Everybody ready to turn into a fast break. You just can't do that. Telegraph, put the ball over your head, telegraph the pass, and throw it 20 feet. Shorter passes, people have to get free. Cornelius holding in for the Cardinals, replacing James Brewer. And you notice the floor balance as well on that offensive break. Mm -hmm. it, it's very tough to get back when you make a mistake that high. But I think Louisville has handled the ball much better than I expected coming in. And, it, and defensively has played them well. The Rebels not a particularly good free throw shooting team, never have really been, and today keeping on track. Two of seven on the afternoon. Tenth point for Stacey Algren. But I guess free throws don't come into play when you're beating the team by an average margin of 32.8. Well, you know, after the Pacific game, they came back, and Tark had almost a three-hour practice. Again, oh, they got a turnover. Thought they had a steal on the foul line. Tark had a almost a three-hour practice, and Anthony's starting to get restless and whine a little. He wants to leave. He said, well, you played lousy last night, Tark said. He's a good coach. You know, we played last and one by 20. What more do you want? You know, some clubs are going to get close to us. Not very many, as a matter of fact. UC Santa Barbara, the closest this season. 
losing by 16. The Rebels have won 10 games by 30 points or more. Excellent use of the court. And patient on the offensive end. Tough match down low. Oh, nice drive and pass to Greg Anthony. And it'll be Cardinals ball. I guess a uh, three-second violation. Well, we get one of those a game occasionally. But Kip Stone down there with George Ackles, a tough match for Louisville. And Larry Johnson setting up housekeeping in the three-point lane to make that the, uh, in the paint, the three-second lane. He does own it. All the things they do well. They contain the drill. Not good defense there, huh? And Sullivan makes them pay. Everett Sullivan dropping in his 13th first half point. 39-28. UNLV lead with 4.15 remaining in the half. Holden with the rebound. LaBratchett Smith. A two on four. Wow. Smith. Not a good shot. Your math was good. His wasn't. Stone to Sullivan. Blocked by Ackles, who barely left his feet. Stone blocked by Johnson. Very competitive, though, Louisville. You see the activity by the Tarks group. They help one another beautifully. Accord four door sedan. We took a good idea and built on it. Introducing the Accord Wagon from Honda. people know State Farm sells car and homeowners insurance. Some people don't know State Farm sells life insurance too. I'm State Farm agent Cecil Burt. Our life insurance policies, our prices, and our financial ability to deliver on our promises, plus the good neighbor service State Farm agents are famous for, have made State Farm one of the largest of all life insurance companies and an outstanding life insurance value. State Farm sells life insurance. This is never going to work. Hey, relax. Anybody can send them roses. Excuse me, we didn't order these. Ian, what's this? Hi! <laughs> Did they really expect us to call them? Budweiser! I'm telling you. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Another important member of the announced crew that will be bringing you halftime in just a few moments is Andrea Joyce. All right, thanks, JB. Coming up at halftime, CBS News will have a special report and update on the war in the Persian Gulf. Then on the Prudential at the half, we will bring you up to speed on other college basketball action, and we'll take a look at some of the surprise teams of the season, all hoping the Cinderella slipper fits. That's all coming up on the Prudential at the half. Now let's go back downstairs to JB and Bill. All right, Andrea, from college football to college basketball, Andrea Joyce. And we've got a foul on the floor. Anderson Hunt with the foul. That's his second personal foul. And JB, you can see the easier type of shots. Not a good foul by him. Very intelligent approach to the game. Jermaine Winfield, 6'7", 205-pound freshman. He and Kip Stone, the only two freshmen to be academically eligible to play for the Cardinals this year. And he misses the free throw. Cardinals had a freshman class of five that was rated as one of the top three recruiting classes in the land. Nice head and shoulder. Johnson, oh. block. Return. Cornelius Holden. To send there. Good activity. Good reaction, but look at this great control. I mean, that's a 6'8", 250, and the swipe by Cornelius. Well, that's how you nullify a guy uh -huh. that big. Sure, one guy can't play him. Cornelius is delighted there. Wouldn't have happened if Johnson was up on him. Hunt. Ogden. 
Rebels playing volleyball and Johnson with the score. So Larry Johnson having an impressive first half, 14 points, averaging just under 23 on the season. Shark attack, attack the glass. Everything they do like this, aggressive, all out. And Kip Stone trying to do it himself, pays the price. This is Anthony. Blocked by Smith. LeBradford Smith. Great effort. Augman, 4-3. Look how quick they are to the ball, James. Louisville ball. Great self-control by Augman, but there's a case of taking away the dribble path. Another phase of their wonderful man-to-man, -man, and L.A. up. Big. Speaking of L.A., LeBradford Smith, as we see the turnover going to the Rebels, LeBradford Smith playing at the two spot, and at times a three spot now, obviously Crum trying to free him up on mm -hmm. the offensive end. Now you can't just have him at the point. He's got to get some points for Louisville. They're switching any down screens. Johnson was trying to draw the contact. Hunt. LeBradford Smith with the rebound. Numbers. Point deficit seems to be the barrier the Cardinals trying to get over. Danny Crumb said, I love my team even though we're struggling. Great defense here again. Holden with the steal. And Then he said they're so competitive and they're showing it right now. Cardinals ball foul on Elmore Spencer. Third personal on Elmore Spencer. And 10th team foul. And that's the point at which Two free throws will be shot by the Cardinals. New rule this year. Sure is. And, of course, Denny Crum, the confidence in listening to him, reminded me of John Wooden in so many respects from the card he has to practice, listing what he wants to complete that particular day to his talking to his players. A silent confidence knowing they're not as good as past Louisville teams. And yet... They give him everything he desires in a ball game, as they are early on here. As I mentioned, two free throws. The Rebels running on every miss. Tark with that up-tempo philosophy. He runs the ball, as you noted, but it's complemented by the aggressive defense. No relaxation. Holden misses two. It's still a nine-point lead by the Rebels. Back to 11 on that powerful move by Larry Johnson. There are NBA coaches saying, oh, could I fit him in to a few of my offensive schemes? That was the left that time. And a turnover here. Good aggressive denial. Bad pass by the freshman Kip Stone at the knees of Everett Sullivan. This is not Greg Anthony or Anderson Hunt. It's the big fella taking it to the tin. Impressive. They use him as the reverse man out there. If he doesn't have anything, he can reverse it to the opposite side of the court. George Ackles back at the center spot for the Rebs in place of Elmore Spencer. Altman loses the handle, but they say it's knocked off of a Louisville player. Next minute is important because Louisville has droughts and watching some games at the end of the half they occasionally fall asleep. Good pinch D by Bradford. Gurren Webb trying to front Larry Johnson as Holden plays a one-man zone. Needs help on this guy. 
Matchup worked that time with the quick, the quicker Webb on Johnson. Tark told me yesterday, he said, he can dribble the ball. We just don't permit it that much. Get him inside and get the game over with. Has all the ability of a small forward. The shot clock is off. 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Tough club to hold it against. Louisville trying to get it under double digits. Shut off the next logical pass whenever possible. Bradford operating against Greg Anthony, an excellent defensive player. Good pump fake. And mm. shot by LeBradford Smith. So it's under double digits. And that's the end of the first half with the score. The Rebels 43, the Cardinals 34. Bob Schieffer will be back with the CBS News special after this message and a word from your local station. the Olympic athletes who found a better way. Whose ideas were so original, there's no going back. That same innovative thinking led us to invent Scotchgard brand protector. And things have looked newer longer ever since. 3M, innovation working for you. Nice. Nice. I'm a second half quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a stellar oh. performance. Super buckets. Have some chicken. You look weak. Uh -huh. His arm is weak. It's called aging. From Kentucky Fried Chicken. Trivia guys, who has the record for most fumbles? You mean before today? Oh. 15 pieces of chicken or a supersized bucket of hot wings, just $9.99 each. Wait till the second half. All right. Rally. 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 Oh. Anytime you're ready, gentlemen. Super buckets from KFC. Come on, Dad. If you've ever wondered what it's like to experience the Bavarian Alps, you don't have to go there to find out. Just head for Vail, Colorado and the Sun and Alp Hotel. And you'll get a taste of champagne powder snow and the richest Bavarian cream pie this side of Innsbruck. So if you go, get your skis waxed up and put your Visa card down. Because at the Sun and Alp, they take fun seriously. But they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. When the weather gets tough, the tough play golf. The season premiere of the PGA Tour on CBS, the Phoenix Open. It might as well be spring. This is CBS. At Margarita's Mexican Canteen and the Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall, it's always a food fiesta. Lunch or dinner, it's Margarita's Mexican Cantina in the Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall. Frontier, where Las Vegas plays. Sir, this is one of the few businesses that doesn't advertise in the GTE Everything pages. Why is that? Well, this is Arnold's rug, not rugs, rug. I only have the one rug, and this is it. But if I advertise in the book people use, They'll be in here looking at my rug. Someone might even buy my rug. There'd no longer be an Arnold's rug. Businesses that want to be successful advertise in the GTE everything pages. Those that don't, don't. You're watching Channel 8, Southern Nevada's 24-hour news source. Good day from CBS News. I'm Bob Schieffer with an update on the war. The oil spill disaster in the Persian Gulf grows worse by the minute. Some of the oil is now on fire around the Sea Island pumping station in occupied Kuwait. The oil is gushing out of the offshore terminal at a rate of at least 100,000 barrels a day. The spill is now more than 30 miles long and 5 miles wide. It threatens wildlife and drinking water throughout the area. In the air war, U.S. Air Force F-15s today shot down three Iraqi warplanes. No Allied planes lost in the past 24 hours. There are new pictures from Iraq of the damage done by Allied bombing. 
Baghdad Radio accused the Allies of targeting residential areas. Tehran Radio says that seven Iraqi warplanes made emergency landings in Iran today, and that one exploded in flames. Iraq says the planes were forced down. It wants them back, but Iran says it will hold on to any aircraft from either side of the war landing in Iranian territory. The U.S. military says that the Patriot Defense System intercepted nine Iraqi Scud missiles launched at Saudi Arabia and Israel last night. But the warhead from one of the Scuds crashed in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. One death and some heavy damage are reported. Two terrorist attacks are under investigation today in southern Turkey. A car apparently wired with explosives blew up near the U.S. consulate and an air base used to attack Iraq. No injuries reported there, but in Paris, a bomb exploded at the offices of a leftist newspaper that supports French military action in the Gulf, and three minor injuries were reported. Anti-war protesters are gathering in Washington for a march and a rally. U.S. Park Police expect as many as 50,000 demonstrators. Stay with CBS News for further updates. We'll have a complete wrap-up tonight on the CBS Evening News. I'm Bob Schieffer, CBS News in New York. Now back to James Brown in Louisville. All right, Bob, thank you very much. Back here at Freedom Hall, we're at halftime, and Andrea Joyce will be coming up with the Prudential at the half. You'll hear her right after this. Number 46. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish my old partner was here tonight, because this used to be our song. I have everything. All my dreams come true. Eddie. In my arms, stop and bomb. In the movies, happy endings are easy, but in the real world, they take solid planning. So for peace of mind, investment advice, even buying or selling your home, come to the companies of the Prudential and build your future on the rock. There's a new kind of cowboy out there. And that's why McDonald's is grilling up a whole new kind of steak. Topped with onions, mushrooms, and a hearty steak sauce on a sourdough roll with a side of fries. And right now, it's a great McDonald's value you can't pass up. McDonald's new grilled steak sandwich. A new kind of steak for a new kind of cowboy. In 1896, Wilhelm Rentgen discovered x-rays and changed the world of medicine. Those first x-ray tubes were made by Siemens. That was then. This is now. Today, Siemens manufactures imaging technology that helps doctors save lives. And with 35,000 people nationwide, the men and women of Siemens will continue to manufacture ideas that even Professor Rentkin never dreamed of. Siemens. Precision thinking. CBS Sports presents The Prudential at the Half. Sponsored by the companies of The Prudential. Come to The Prudential and build your future on the rock. We're in Louisville, Kentucky on the icy banks of the Ohio River where top-ranked and undefeated UNLV leads Louisville by nine. And when you think of Louisville, you usually think of a great basketball tradition. But this year, football took center stage. Today, the crowd here at Freedom Hall is paying tribute to the 1990 Louisville team. The Cards, of course, capped off their best season in school history with a Fiesta Bowl route of Alabama. Coach Howard Schnellenberger led Louisville to its first top 20 ranking since 1972. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to the Prudential at the Half. I'm Andrea Joyce. We do have one other football note for you this afternoon. Five new inductees into the NFL Hall of Fame were announced today. They are Earl Campbell, John Hanna, Tech Schramm, Jan Stenerud, and Stan Jones. The official ceremonies, of course, will take place in August. Now, let's get you caught up on other college basketball action in progress this afternoon. We begin out at the Meadowlands, where number 19 UConn is trailing Seton Hall. UConn, of course, started 3-0 in the Big East, but they are struggling. They have lost their last four conference games. In the Metro, Virginia Tech has a one-point lead over Florida State. The Hokies trying to snap a five-game losing streak. Big Ten action in Ann Arbor, and the Wolverines have the lead over Illinois. They're at halftime. And at Cole Fieldhouse, NC State coming off a big win over Duke is trailing Maryland. That game's in the first half. Now, in just a couple of minutes, number eight, Kentucky will tip off against Alabama. The Wild 
Bobcats are the only undefeated team in SEC play. They already have more wins this season than they did in all of last year. And now with 10 straight victories, Kentucky is definitely one of the surprise teams of the season. And you wish upon a star. Sometimes dreams do come true. They did for Villanova in 1985. The legendary Adolph Rupp would have been proud of this year's Kentucky squad. Even though the Wildcats are ineligible for postseason play, Midnight Madness started a stellar season for Rick Pitino in the 15-2 Wildcats, a stunning start to say the least. Surprise would be putting it mildly. We obviously didn't think we'd get any type of notoriety when you're on probation. A good notoriety and this is something that that's just terrific for the guys because they put in so much effort and hard work cinderella teams know all about pumpkins even with a loss this week east tennessee state coach alan laforce and the buccaneers are 14 and 2 and headed in style down the road to indianapolis everybody used to say etsu who now everybody's saying i don't want to play etsu Far from the pumpkin patch, the Cornhusker has left the football field to jump on the basketball bandwagon in Lincoln. But even at 16 and 2, Coach Danny Nee knows the verdict isn't in yet on Nebraska. The jury's still out on Nebraska basketball, but it come two, three weeks from now, a month from now, when we've gone through the Big Eight, the first cycle, then I think all the tests will start coming in and you're going to see the passing grades of Nebraska as close we are for real. Saluted for its football success under Woody Hayes, some forget John Havlicek led Ohio State to a national championship in 1960. Now at 17-0, Coach Randy Ayers and the Buckeyes are returning to the glory days. The team that really going to be out, you know, gunning for us, trying to, trying to knock us off. And we have a goal, and that's to, you know, to win the Big Ten title, and you know, just going to keep trying to, keep, and you know, just try to keep going. I don't want it to, end. you know, I'm a, I'm a bad loser. You know, I'm not uh, too good of a loser. I don't want to lose. So far, they haven't. That means that Ohio State and UNLV are the only undefeated teams left in the country. It's interesting to note that the last time Ohio State lost was last March during the NCAA tournament when they lost to none other than UNLV. That's it for the Prudential at the half. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with the second half of UNLV Louisville after this message and a word from your local station. The Prudential at the half was sponsored by The Prudential. Come to the companies of The Prudential and build your future on the rock. In trying to make an artistic statement, one should be careful not to let one's personal aroma do the talking. In order not to offend the critics, I recommend Right Guard Sports Stick. It provides maximum protection and the freshest scents, a sublime palette of odoriferous emanations. After all, a true artiste should be remembered for his inspiration, not his perspiration. Right guard sports stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Painful sore throat and no chloroseptic spray? That's okay. Chloroseptic lozenges actually work like this spray to penetrate nerve endings and stop pain fast. Great tasting chloroseptic lozenges. Fast relief when you're away from your spray. Extra strength Rolaids antacid. Stronger because it has more calcium carbonate. More than any Tums tablet. And salt free. More calcium carbonate and salt free. This settles it once and for all. Quick, hide the pizza. Why? The buck's back. He sure is. Starting tonight. Ooh, do I smell pizza? This is CBS. The best foods for the best price anywhere. Take our words for it. Head for the Gold Coast Buffet, the last word in reasonably priced dining. Good. Now this fan represents you. The finest medical skill and experience. A higher technology. And a passion for personal caring is good health care. 
And health care this good is easy to find at Valley Hospital. You're watching Channel 8, Southern Nevada's 24-hour news source. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by today's Chevrolet, who invites you to see why more people are winning with a heartbeat of America. NyQuil, an original and cherry flavors. And by McDonald's. You know the one. It's McDonald's for food, folks, and fun. Inside Freedom Hall here at halftime, Rebels on top of the Cardinals, 43-34. And Billy Raftery, despite lacking size, depth, and experience, the Cardinals only trailing by nine. La Bradford. I'm very impressed, James. I thought he made one bad judgment. And now he's got four turnovers. And that's going to happen when you play a defense like this. But I think his overall attitude and also playing multi-positions, being able to adjust from point to second guard to up front, has really helped this club. Very unselfish kid, delightful to chat with, and as competitive as they come. And he's got six first half assists as we take a look at halftime stats. Again, the field goal percentage definitely favoring UNLV with that running game and getting some easy shots. But turnovers, Billy, UNLV almost at their season average for a game. I think their pace in overdrive has caused the problems for just slow it down a little bit. I think when they run their stuff and get into their power game, I mean, if I had you, I would put you down on the box and say throw the ball to JB. One thing we ought to keep in mind, you talk about JB. Troy Smith gives the Cardinals 10 points a game. He has not played in the first half, but yet Louisville is hanging right in here. What do you expect in the second half? I would think that they'll get their, get their zone, that comfort zone, try and get into their sets a little bit and talk about, hey, let's time our cuts. Get free so I can pass the ball and make our cuts down into the lane. I think that's been the biggest problem, initiating the offense. And, of course, when they've turned it over, it's led to easy goals for Vegas. So I'm sure Denny Crumb is saying, fellas, let's concentrate on getting the shot each trip. If we do that, good things can happen. Larry Johnson. 8 of 11 from the floor, 16 points, the leading scorer at the half for the Rebels. Everett Sullivan, 13 points for the Cardinals. And by way of elaboration, I mentioned Troy Smith, the 6'7", 6'8", sophomore center for the Cardinals, has two sprained knees mm -hmm. and is getting taped at halftime and is going to give it an attempt sometime in the second half if his legs feel okay. Cornelius Holden and, of course, Everett Sullivan the smile here at half court. <laughs> Larry Johnson turning does. They've got to get him involved. And usually Tark does when they need some baskets. So much for that philosophy. But for three. Uh, that's getting involved. <laughs> well, if they don't come out and play him, Anderson's going to drill it. 12 points for Anderson Hunt. Average is 15 on the season, and here the Rebels come again. Don't forget, they get those spurts going. The original starting five on the floor for UNLV. Off the pump fake blocked partially by Holden, but not enough. And Holden came down on the wrong angle on that left ankle of his. He's limping a bit. They should have let Ogman get the ball in that three-second area. There's what you can get when they overplay. Bring him high and back cut. You've got to show the ball against pressure defense. 15 for Sullivan. And Sullivan, good defense. And is pushed that by should be, Stacey Alden. That should be two shots. Should be intentional. I'm just going to give him the two shots. And Larry Rose signals that. An intentional foul. On the breakaway, this should be, you see the push? Well, it wasn't really intentional. Not bad. Just the two on the shot, James. Not a bad call. Denny, I don't blame him for complaining and begging a little bit. He doesn't have much experience, talent to go to, Denny Crum. So certainly he doesn't want to see Everett Sullivan out of the game. And Everett Sullivan improved year by year here. Talk about maturing as a player. In watching him, he's become a very good passer. Likes the three-point shot. He had four three-pointers against Florida State. It's four for eight the other night against Southern Miss. Nice spin out by Johnson. Anthony for 
three. Greg Anthony dropping in the three, only his fifth point of the game, but a 51-37 Rebels lead. Uh, Brewer can handle I thought he did the best job. LeBrafton can play off the ball. And Billy, the long passes, the bait by the Rebels defense. Well, Augman will push you right to the sideline. What do you do when you initiate your offense there? It's too far to go. Well, I remember the day when you and I were playing 150 years ago. The skip pass was an, an illegal pass. Taboo. You weren't permitted or you were out. You got the hook. And Anthony fell on the floor as he was going for the loose ball and fell on that, that shooting hand of his. Checking him. Wasn't it a fun talking to him about his business pursuits? He said, he said that he didn't know as a youngster, you mentioned, uh, whether he was going to be good enough. So he and a couple of buddies started a t-shirt company and then got into sporting goods and he gave up his scholarship. Has his real estate license? So that he could earn income, they had he had to give up the scholarship. So he said he loved it because now he's something for his nice post pad. Ooh. And a wicked slam attempt by Cornelius Holden, but Larry Johnson blocked it, and Larry Rose corrects the call. And then he says, what, he says game, is Louisville ball. what game are you in? Paying attention. It's not your man, but it's your game. The front, the continuing defensive sequence, not complete until you get the ball. Great Subtle effort. mind battles going on between Holden and Johnson. Mm -hmm. The two of them. You've got to get him up in the air. His great reaction to the basketball. LeBradford Smith with the shot. He missed two of those against Southern Miss that could have given Louisville the lead down the stretch. His catch shot. They're much more comfortable against the zone. That was the zone on the out of bounds. Eight point of the afternoon for LeBradford Smith. And LeBradford reaching around again. That was his third time going for that. This time, whistle for the foul. His third. You don't want that one for your third. That's laziness, not getting the feet moving in the right direction. Ackles. Boy, long arms on the part of Ackles. Rebounded by LeBrathy Smith. This is Brewer. Steps. Good call. And walk. Greg Anthony, of course, wanted the charge. Great. LeBrathy did walk before the charge. How about the anticipation defensively? It's annoying effect how they keep attacking you. You don't get any, no free outs. When but you're Billy, when you talk about time and distance, LeBrathy didn't have the ball, then maybe he should have been given a step. Well, he, time and distance. He was. walked before he hit him, though, so right. that negates that. Augman. Stacy Augman. 16 points for Stacy Augman on that three, and it's a 54. Has it 39, Rebels lead. Has advanced his game, hasn't he? Boy, impressive from the uh, from the field. Six of eight. Half of those jump shots. Brewer. Now they got the two. They got their offense running a little bit. Las Vegas may be a little tired. Augman. When you talk about tired, that's what Crum has been trying to do with his squad is to keep them fresh with the substitutes. They're winded a little bit right now. Johnson isn't. Brewer. That score of Seton Hall, P.J. doing some job, isn't he? Boston, got to get back. Talk about some job. That man there, Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson with 18 points. I wouldn't be afraid to go to Dallas with my team with him. Not at all. Play anybody. They'd be the Mavs. <laughs> <laughs> well, many people say this squad could play a lot of pro teams and do well. The Rams. Uh, people trying to figure out what team they're as good as in Louisville right now on the ropes if they don't get shots at the other end and balance the floor. They can have their difficulties, but people talk about the Walton team, the Lou Alcindor team. Think of the Jerry Lucas, John Havlicek. Uh, Andrea spoke about them at halftime. Some great basketball. Bill Russell's club. It's tough to put them. They all played in different eras against different types. But this team could stack up and play with most. And don't forget, the Buckner's Indiana team. It's no longer Bobby Knight's. Quinn Buckner is even giving up the compliments for UNLV. Thanks! That personal foul was on Larry Johnson, his second personal foul. And LeBrathwood Smith dropping home the free throws. 
and it's a 13-point Rebels lead, 15-55 remaining, top one top. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's that new Chevy. It's an APV. An AP who? Yeah, it's a code, top secret. We're talking perustable composite panels. See that? Zero gravity modular seats. Oh, yeah? Resilient, rustic cup, polyurea fenders. And it's got this... Chevy Luna APV. A very original way more people are winning with a heartbeat. Driver's biorhythms. Biorhythm? Yeah. Now it's easy to win with a heartbeat. Beale Street in old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Beale Street means a blues festival and spicy barbecue, Memphis style. And old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp, old Milwaukee beer and smooth, golden old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place in old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and old Milwaukee light. It just doesn't get any better than this. Ugh, I've got the worst cold a human being ever had. I've got a major presentation tomorrow. I've got a rest and about a NyQuil. I could take these, but I'd still be up all night coughing, which means I'd be a wreck for the presentation, which means I could get fired. But what am I going to do? Go next door like an idiot and ask? Could I borrow a cup of NyQuil? <clears throat> Once you know what NyQuil can do, nothing else will do. Next, Madden brings you a Super Bowl special. Tonight, he fixes all Madden team. It's Madden from day to night. Well, before the Super Bowl tomorrow, check out some super basketball action, NCAA doubleheader style, as Georgetown and Pittsburgh clash tomorrow. In the second half of that doubleheader, Kenny Anderson traveling to North Carolina. All starting at 12 noon tomorrow right here on CBS. Larry Johnson out of Odessa Thank took you. Stacy Ogden for a trip, and Stacy said, "I'm glad you went there." <laughs> it's a little too quiet for Stacy, that California. Stacy was diplomatic. He said it was very tranquil there. <laughs> Johnson showing his ball handling moves. Rebound by Everett Sullivan. Billy, you made the comment during commercial. The Cardinals are hanging in there. They sure are. I noticed Nevada not guarding as well, not as active. And this is the Amoeba. Uh, not a good pass. Good defensive reaction by Johnson, but he loses the handle on the ball. Uh, and you say Amoeba defense. Well, it's a it's a name. It's just, it gets you clinic engagements. <laughs> it's a catchy term, but they attack out of it and back up. It it reacts and forms to the the defense. And they like to be as active in it as their man to man. Stacy Altman, long arms, leading the break, Hunt with the miss. Darren Webb with the rebound to LeBradford Smith. And boy, the Rebels just hassle you all over the court. Don't they? Relentless as Stacy Ogman gets the reach in. That's that deflection that clubs work on. He may have gotten it. Third foul on Stacy Ogman. Third team foul for the Rebels. And Anthony gets away with a the nudge. They've been successful against this. Getting open shots. Good. Sullivan for two. Denny Crum says if he could get the three of his veterans, Holden, Sullivan, and LeBradford Smith on the same page in one game, they'd be a lot better. And Sullivan is on the right page. He is 18 points worth. Too easy. Anderson Hunt kisses it off the glass for his 14 point. He is a scorer. That mentality, any opening he takes advantage. This backcourt of UNLV, not only defensive-minded, but a very good offensive squad. Talk about defense. Larry Johnson with the steal. And Anthony shot blocked from behind by Derwin Webb. And thank goodness for the padded basket support. Now Anthony wanted the jam. He's had some tough falls in his career. But here's the defense now. Usually he's down on the box guarding the inside people, proving he can go out and play perimeter people. And nice sportsman like aid there and assistance to make sure that Greg Anthony doesn't fall harshly. And, uh, I know if there's any problem, I'm going behind one guy, Larry Johnson. Johnson. Larry 
Larry. Elmore yeah, Spencer wouldn't be a bad one to get no, behind. No, I still think I'd stick with Larry. <laughs> Larry's got the kind of body we all <laughs> desire. <laughs> and Elmore Spencer coming in to replace Ackles. Jimmy Gergovich, great, great assistant coach, head coach at Pitt for a long time. And he saw another assistant over there, his granddad back in that Pittsburgh area, not feeling well asked us to give him his best as the Bradford charges at another. And a big foul on LeBradford Smith as he picks up foul number four with 14-20 left in the game. Well, you can be moving. I think they should have just let it go. No call. Yeah. Uh, reacting. Tough one for number four. But you can see Denny Crumb's confidence leaving the veteran in there. He knows what he has to do. Just don't get a silly one. So LeBradford Smith stays in the game with his fourth personal foul. And a full 14 minutes left in the game. They, and Vegas is really helping Derwin Webb. They're not getting the ball down to Larry Johnson. Anthony, not a good day from the field at all. Two of eight from the floor. There you go. And battling on the floor. And who comes up with it and the score? Larry Johnson. This should be no basket. He knows he got away with it. He'll get that basket at the next level. Yes, he will. Well, it's a continuation as you get off the bus at the next level. <laughs> but he should be getting the ball with Webb on him, the good pin down. But right here, there's the grab. Here's another foul here. Oh. Not at the college level, but no. certainly at the pro level. No, that's a big basket. That's a three-point possibility. And this is one of those bursts now at 62-45. The bottom of those 11 rebounds, six off of the offensive glass. That funny hesitation at the top. It's a rhythm that throws you off. Denny and I used to get these kind of calls at Freedom. One points for Larry Johnson, a 63-45 Rebels lead. Good back cut. We have a nice pass from LeBradford Smith. Bring him out and back cut. Overplay, diffuse. Cardinals back on D, but Hunt makes them pay from three-point land. Anderson Hunt with 17, and boy, how about shades of that game against Duke in the championship match? Wide open, too easily. Biggest lead of the game for the Rebels. I'm even impressed when they go over the table. <laughs> it would style. Near the conclusion of today's game, Bill and I will select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. And in their honor, Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship to the general scholarship fund of each school. A 66-47 UNLV lead, 13-13 remaining, and Larry Johnson continuing to play on the defensive end. Holden unable to back up with the bad ankle right now. Got to get away from his side. Larry just overplaying him. And as if the Cardinals aren't hampered enough, Troy Smith cannot play because of two sprained knees. And off with a third rebound, volleyball again. Spread the sea. All of a sudden, shedding bodies. Larry Johnson. A little woofing at the other end. And Rusty hurrying, just trying to calm him down. And a little warning from the officials to Larry Johnson to cool it. You know, they're going to lead the country in a lot of stats. One of them is Huggy. <laughs> and Wugs. <Wugs. laughs> Either way. <laughs> Look at this job defensively over the top you need the pressure release man to time his cut get free present himself to the basketball to bail these guards out The Penobscot River and Old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. The Penobscot means hard-charging white water. And old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp Old Milwaukee beer and smooth, golden Old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place. 
Here's another demonstration of Chevy versus Ford. We're loading up these full-size pickups with recyclables. The Chevy has a standard payload advantage of over 400 pounds. That's a pile of payload the Ford leaves behind. <laughs> no wonder so many truck owners recycle their trucks for Chevys. More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. Now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. Pizza Hut delivery now for the pepperoni pizza deal. Get as many medium pepperoni pizzas as you want for just $5.99 each. So what are you waiting for? Cause the change for the better, change for the best. Pizza Hut delivery, make it great. This game summary is sponsored by Pizza Hut, an NCAA corporate sponsor. Pizza Hut, making it great. Well, it's been a UNLV second half, and Billy, I guess to embellish that note there, the front line scoring, it's been the manhandling, the UNLV Rebs front line of the Cardinals. Too many of them, <laughs> too strong, too active, too quick. <laughs> too much. Intense, and they are too much. No uh, doubt about it. Awesome. Uh, it, it's very tough to match up. Then he come at a complete disadvantage underneath, and they've given him a nice run, and now's the time to step it up on the D. And create a few stops if they're going to get back in it. Denny Crum has been trying to pull a few strings up tempo, half court, trying to control. But this man here, Larry Johnson, has done a lot of damage. But no foul call, but Augman with the continuation, a chance for a three-point play by Stacy Augman. Now the smile because he knows he's quicker to the ball than most. And that was up for grabs after the strip. Well, the big squad in for the Rebels with Johnson, Augman, and Spencer across the front line, Anderson Hunt and Greg Anthony in the backcourt. Now, they won't play any different the next 12 minutes. They'll be just as involved, just as aggressive on both ends of the floor. And I think that stems from their terrific practice habits. Take a look at LeBradford Smith. He knows what a strong team these, these Rebels are. Really tough to get in where you would like for the entry pass. Holden. And although Holden is being physically handled by Larry Johnson, you like his heart. He is not giving up. Taking it where the action is, in the middle. He's not himself since he fell, too. He's a great shot blocker. We know that. And under the basket, he's a very strong finisher. But Larry able to body him out. Tremaine Wingfield loses the handle on the inbounds pass. This is Anderson Hunt. Spread it out, he's on the floor. Spencer. Augman with those arms. Kept working it up well. And he kept it up real high, never came back down with it. And right now, too many second efforts. And this is the half that the Rebs feel that they normally get most teams. Out quicking them, fatigue becomes a factor. I thought they looked tired earlier, but they stepped it back up. Nice pass to Wingfield, but Wingfield can get the roll on a nice pass from Kip Stone. That might be an indication of fatigue right there, Billy, the that turnovers. That opened it up. I also thought at the wing position, not able to get the ball, so the postman on the foul line has to come out and help the guard. You need wrinkles when you play Las Vegas. You can't come down and do the same thing or have the same direction in mind. Take a look at Wingfield. We asked Jerry Jones, the assistant coach, longtime assistant for the Cardinals. But what about Tremaine Wingfield? Is that a freshman? Mm -hmm. right. Succinctly. Typical ups and downs. And look at this, he died. Then, then he gives him a lot of responsibilities in practice. And of course, the two road warriors, right? Larry Gay and Scooter McCray were out recruiting. They're back for the ball game. But Jerry's been in here, came in from Pepperdine. His birthday the other day, a belated wish to him. Hunt with the three. And the Rebels starting to uncork. Like 
the second half started. <laughs> Uncorked like fine wine, I thought you were going to say. 75-49, Rebels on top. 11 minutes remaining in the contest. Now, there's a little 2-3 now. They're really not attacking the ball as they normally do in their zone. Sullivan against Ogden. Nice pass inside to Holden for the basket. Nice look by Everett Sullivan. <laughs> Haven't seen much in the way of antics from Tarkanian on the sidelines this game or this year. Oh, you got a guy like that in a team like this, why? I mean, why do you have to move with this team? I mean, only guys like us might mess it up. Try to go out, change some things around. He just instills hard work, good habits. And Greg Anthony whistled for the foul. And Kip Stone. And don't forget, coming up next, it's John Madden's Super Bowl special. Get a preview look from the preeminent analyst in football, John Madden. And we've got a timeout here in the action. Denny Crum looking for some magic. The smallest particle known to man is the quark. Quarks throw a party and form an electron. Electrons form molecules, and molecules form things like spatulas and platypuses. Sometimes the fastest and lightest molecules get together and form a cheetah, or a rocket, or Jerry Rice. Under ideal conditions, they form the Nike Air Trainer TW Lite, the lightest, fastest Nike cross-training shoe in the world. So you can wait 12 billion years for these to occur randomly in nature, or buy a pair pre-assembled today. Isn't science wonderful? This is CBS. The tradition of dining at Binion's Horseshoe. Great service, great food, great prices. Like our $2 steak and our $2 breakfast, the best in Las Vegas. Or Italian cuisine with pizzazz at Benito's. And Binion's famous steaks, of course. Then for that special evening, elegant cuisine and a spectacular view, the Sky Room. The special dining tradition of Binion's Horseshoe where value, service, and good taste are served with every meal. Sir, this is one of the few businesses that doesn't advertise in the GTE Everything pages. Why is that? Well, this is Mom's restaurant. And this is Mom. She's a great cook. But if I advertised in the book people actually use, this place would be packed. And I don't think either one of us wants that on our conscience, do we? Businesses that want to be successful advertise in the GTE Everything pages. Those that don't, don't. You're watching Channel 8, Southern Nevada's 24-hour news source. One of the most successful coaches in America losing is something that Denny Crum has not grown accustomed to. But he said there are some lessons and benefits to be had. I mean, it's never easy to lose, uh, especially when you're not used to it. But I think uh, Coach Wooden told me one time that you only prosper through adversity. So I told my kids that they and I would be very rich by the end of this season because we've had a lot of adversity. If that's the case, he should be poor from the other years. <laughs> Tremendous winning percentage. And every year play a great skill. They're not afraid of anybody. They don't play any of those hyphenated schools. They go out. Any and directional schools? And make no mistake about it, it has been a frustrating season for Denny Crum. Not easy when you've accomplished at the level he has. Clark rather passive with this 2-3. I think this is his way of not running it up. You talk about not running it up. Ten victories by 30 points or more, six by 40 or more, and three by 50 or more. As you take a look at that shot by Greg Anthony, and you talk about not running the score up, some impressive margins of victory. Well, some he said eight coaches thanked him for not running it up, and five more should have. And probably six or seven others just were in shock and couldn't find his locker room. And just under 15 minutes left in the first half, it was still an 11-point game since then. The Rebels have gone on a 23-6 run and lead at 79-51. to 51. Well, Billy, we talk about the dynamic five on the floor of UNLV. Many people put him in great company. They're going to try to repeat for the first time since UCLA did it last. 
And we mentioned those two great teams. You see Cincinnati in there? I happen to play against them. And right now, Louisville, did you happen to see that pass by Kip Stone? Michael Jordan couldn't have gotten it. It was up over the tin. And that was Hogan, Bonham, and Thacker, and Yates, amongst others. It takes a lot of concentration. Obviously, a lot of talent, which Vegas mm -hmm. certainly has. Mm -hmm. So there is a distinct possibility. But don't forget, a couple of weeks, one of the great ah. games, Arkansas could very well be the best of the regular season. Nolan Richardson revving up, I'm sure, as we speak. And you know, many people say that will be a matchup of the two best backcourts in college basketball. Todd yeah, Mayberry, you may very, very, you may punt, and Anthony. Two good matchups defensively to both, both sets of guards. Can and get Johnson. position and do a job. That, of course, will be seen right here on CBS February the 10th. I didn't see Harvard in that back-to-back uh, -back NCAAs. Well, the book wasn't thick enough. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have another page, huh? As Larry Johnson gets whistled for the foul, his fourth personal, that'll send Derwin Webb to the line for the Cardinals. Webb used sparingly last season, but obviously, as a result of lack of depth, getting a lot of time this season. Vegas has so many pro prospects that are going to make so much money, they could put a nick in the world debt. By <laughs> what they're going to get paid. Hunt. In and out. Cardinals. This is Sullivan. Nice pass to Holden. Nice book slam. Wow. They do have some loyal fans here sticking by this club under an unusual set of circumstances for them. Losses. Spencer over to Anthony. And Anthony with a three. So Greg Anthony, one of the few times he's connecting from out front with 12 points. You talk about loyal fans, obviously one spoiled with success over the years. But Denny Crum made mention that they have been supportive even mm -hmm. during this drought. I'm thinking of Anthony, too, as we're chatting about that. He left Portland and talked so highly about the school. And Jack Avina, his old coach, taught him so much, but wanted to come closer to home and have his mom see him play. Webb, drive, and foul. And Denny Crum, as you see him talking to his squad, says one thing I do like about these guys, they do work hard, they have not given up. We've been competitive. But wait until next year. As a matter of fact, he talked about the 1985 season when they went 19 and 18. And next, and what year, won, next year, next year won it all. But he has not stopped. For eight minutes to go. He knows reality has set in. This one is out. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is you're preparing. He knows some of these players are going to get better and be ready to help or be the foundation next year for his youngsters that are sitting out mm -hmm. for academic reasons. And, and he'll be back. I mean, they're just. An awesome team, program, and tradition. And a talented group of freshmen you mentioned who will be eligible next season. Dwayne Morton, Greg Miner, Brian Hopgood, and a JC transfer, Anthony Cade, who is supposed to be awesome. 82-54 lead by the Rebels. 750 remaining. That may go. <laughs> Had a chance. Everything else did. There's Jerome Harmon, last year with the squad. And back in school as well. And the three freshmen and the JC transfer, Anthony Cade. A lot of offense. 70%, Denny Crum says, left last year mm -hmm. of his offense. Felton Spencer, a uh, NBA center now up in Minnesota, doing a nice job. Sullivan for three. Ackles with the rebound. Look at this look. He just took a great gray block. But who's there? Oh, they, Johnson. Johnson. They're always in the right spot. They counter by pushing all their people up the floor. It's not just one guy in on a break. 27 points, 13 rebounds for Larry Johnson. And Derwin Webb has given them a good day. He's worked hard defensively, tried to block shots. Travis Bice, H. Waldman. And Elmore Spencer into the lineup for the Rebels. And an indication, again, of what Jerry Tarkinian has done throughout the season and not allegedly trying to run up the score. Now, they're buddies going back to their JC days when they got started. 
and they have just <laughs> nailed everybody. He did he had a hard time getting games, and I wonder why. <laughs> LeBradford Smith. That's it, for three. Great to see his folks and his brother up here with a bad back. His brother said that uh, he taught him a few things. And that's how he got hurt, huh? <laughs> Spencer. They think a lot of him. I think he's going to be a good player. Webb with the rebound. LeBradford for three. Hold it. Look at Waldman down there. He tried to block and may have gotten a piece of either the arm of LeBradford or the ball, but he down Diggy is and still active. And that's that total philosophy and commitment to defense. The whole sequence isn't over till we get it and go the other way. Mm -hmm. And even the subs who may not get as much time do the same thing. The man can coach. And Tark trying to go deeper on his bench without hurting the Cardinals even more. Cornelius Holden having to play the inside position with the graduation of Felton Spencer. Quick upper just doesn't have the size but A for effort in terms of what he's been doing. Now, do you think not having enough tough games will hurt this club? Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. Not at all. Oh, Are there tough games maybe in practice? Everett Gray. Nice, nice move. Back. And they like him a lot. And you can see why. The, the ability to dribble and penetrate. The is on Holden, number 30. That's his second. Cornelius Holden picking up his second personal foul. Seven for the team. As Everett Gray takes it to the free throw line. An excellent athlete. He was an all CIF player in high school, playing in California. Riverside, where Jerry coached at one time, community college. Mm -hmm. Three sports star. You mentioned Cornelius. Cornelius holding a Crenshaw grad. I talked to him about that program. And you think of the great names, Marcus Johnson, Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry. I, know, I know you're a big baseball man. Hey, Eric Davis. Yeah, Eric Davis. And, of course, one of my favorites, Darwin Cook, who played for the New Jersey Nets for quite a while now, playing overseas. Everett Sullivan on the bench now for U of L, and Mike Case, a 6'6 sophomore, in his place. Now, these are the subs, but they're going to play harder at this point. I mean, they're extending that zone. They go out and play the ball in the floor. Blocked by Ackles. And the follow by Durin Webb. He has given an effort. An example of what Crum says. They continue to play hard. 85-60. Mm -hmm. Rebs. Spencer stolen by Webb. Hold him. Up to LeBrett. What a catch. Not a bad gather in the open floor. Not an easy pass to handle. And showing his ability. Strong to the goal. Travis Bice loves the three-pointer. Did you ever play a team this overpowering when you oh, were yeah. in school? I oh, know yeah. you did with the oh, Hawks. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, North Carolina with Bobby Jones. Uh -huh. now this, Bob McAdoo. Now, this is a skimmer. One of those tough to catch passes, but uh, in the open floor, that's his kind of game. So continue. North oh. Carolina. They blew us out the worst. That foul was on Cornelius holding his third. But, you know, if I recall correctly, I'm thinking we might have played Seton Hall, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you know, it wasn't a blowout. We played a triangle in two. We had two guys on you. And that was in warm-ups. Just to control you. Uh, oh, a, lot of, a lot of years ago. That was a lot of losses ago. Boy, I talk about dusting off some cobwebs. This is Case. The sophomore. Throws it away. This is H. Walton. Uh, 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 Walton trying to get a little too fancy. And Tarkanian does not like it. And oh, he may be out of there. Oh, he is. Keith Starr actually picked up the sub as Tark was going down to get him. He does not tolerate any nonsense. That and that's fans got that's a great learning lesson for a... And in watching their games, I like him. And right away, now he better keep going and don't look at Tark. Tark didn't look at him. Uh, he's got about a dozen eggs on his brow. 
Miller, he is a good performer. Case for three. Webb blocks by Spencer. Tark was so mad he called him Herb. <laughs> That's what the team calls him, although his name is H. <laughs> and now Tark goes down to hear the explanation from H. Walden. 4.36 remaining in the game. Rebels comfortably ahead, 86 to 62. Uh, for people who love basketball, if you ever get a chance to watch La Nevada, Las Vegas, practice, go, and enjoy yourself. It's a workout. Oh, uh, even the coaches are, everybody but Tark. 70% of the time spent on defense. He's the overseer of all the assistants in the drills. As you mentioned, the defensive end. He's nice. Missing the three. Stimulates everything for them. It's almost like the guys have a reprieve on the offensive end as a result of playing good defense. That's his philosophy. You can do certain things, take liberties on the offensive end because you've worked hard defensively. 17 points for LeBradford Smith. To go along with nine assists. Ray off the mark, but Ackles, high percentage shot. George Ackles. Talk about a wingspan. And if you think Tarch is not going to be strong next year, just look at the different guys that have played today. Mm -hmm. The subs, a lot of them back. Mentioned Wallman. Gray. The one other thing that Tark likes about Spencer is that although he didn't play his first game with the Rebs until December the 20th, he was at every practice watching and learning and paying dividends. Every day that goes by, one of the highest mileage, lowest price, and the best selling of all V6 coupes is Chevy Beretta. by day, more people are winning with the heartbeat of America. And now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. Wouldn't it be great if instead of being in hot water with your boss, you were in warm water, the Caribbean, and swimming toward you was a beautiful fish? No, it was a woman. And yes, she had beer, Keystone. The premium gold-filtered beer in a can that tastes like beer in a bottle because of Keystone's specialty line can. And wouldn't it be great if you told your boss to take that job and sure, I'll have another. <laughs> Keystone and Keystone Light, bottled beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? Before they could walk, they wanted to dance. Before they could talk, they wanted to sing. But they needed a lot of heart and desire before they could get to Broadway and make it on a chorus line. Now this Broadway legend is back and on tour. But if you want tickets, get to the box office early and get out your Visa card. Because this show won't be in town long. And it won't take American Express, Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Visa. Honored at over 8 million places worldwide, Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Sharp Electronics Corporation, from sharp minds come sharp products. And by Keystone and Keystone Light, bottled beer taste in a can, wouldn't that be great? Well, they're a little closer <laughs> together. Well, communications, uh, you take them out, you spank, cajole, and then you put the arms around, the loving affection, and that's a lesson, not well earned, but uh, that'll stick. One you'd like to forget. Brewer for the Cardinals. Of three. Reggie Fee has played for the New Jersey Nets. And talking to him about his heart, he just has this incredible affection as the Bradford finishes strong. 19 for LeBradford Smith, and that goes down as a check mark on the scouts list. Mm -hmm. Not giving up. That's right. And of course, stepping into passing lane. But Reggie felt he learned so much from him. He did so much for him in terms of his growth. And knowing anytime that I'm going to be around a Vegas team, to be sure and say hello. Vice for three. We know both coaches have a lot of players, ex players, who say the same thing. This is Brewer. Swipe from behind, Spencer up to Everett Gray. And Gray 
Nice move. Because you're living down in Washington, and you got Wes Unsel. I was going to say never that. nervous, purpose. And Wes Unsel doing one amazing mm -hmm. job coaching without an awful lot of talent, and Purvis Ellison maturing as a pro. Some people think that Wes may have a shot at coach of the year because of what he's been doing. Was with a strong auxiliary last year. And Purvis. All right. Ah, back in. You, I, think, you think we'll see a fancy move again by Waldman? I guarantee you he will not go between the legs, around the back. Anything or anything close to resembling that. As Greg Anthony takes a seat on the pine, hold it. Over to Everett Sullivan. And Webb fouled. Waldman attempting the shot. Now, Waldman now, uh, in practice, the greatest lessons of his life, trying to guard Anderson Hunt mm -hmm. and, and, and Greg, who just challenge you both with the dribble, the cutting. It's not an easy day for him, and, and obviously you're going to get better. One of two for Duran Webb. And Waldman, a pass only Kareem could have gotten. Ah, Waldman, good defense. Look at this. Baseball pass up to Ackles. Now that's not oh, fair. Two guys should be hanging. I mean, one's been in there. There's the king of the country applauding the chippy hanging. And there's another. Well, Tark bringing a guy off the bench whom Tark indicated thinks is upset with him because he hasn't been playing much. Melvin Love, and you'll see him in a few seconds as Webb continuing to hustle for the Cardinals. A 20-point lead by pace. the Rebels. Walden on the money with that look. strong arm. LeBradford to Holden, and Holden up in heavy traffic and scores! Cornelius Holden battling bigger and stronger guys all afternoon drops in the basket 13 hard-earned points for Cornelius Holden and into the game for the Rebels number 24 Elmore Spencer oh they had taken the wrong guy out uh, Ackles is going out now they sent him back in with love Melvin love proving no. love is one big man mm -hmm. They have a lot of big people, big mm -hmm. men. Love, 6'9 and a half, 250. This finish, though, proving Denny Crum entirely correct about his club's competitiveness. Mm -hmm. And I like I just like them because they don't pack it. Wow. So Vice. Vice for a price. The man who looks like a human dipstick at only 168 oh, pounds. You are cruel. Oh, no. I told him that. He said, <laughs> I agree with you. And LeBradford waiting to draw the foul. And Wallman really getting Jerry shaking his head over. I think Wallman better get his own plane home. <laughs> well, Tark had to have something to gripe about. Team played mm -hmm. exceedingly well. But Bice was cute in talking to both of us about his weight. You never know if he's happy or sad. He just keeps on winning. And says consistently that he will be back next year, Jerry Tarkanian. I talked to Jerry about Wallman, and I said, you know who he reminds me of? Danny Tarkanian. He said, you're right. Mm -hmm. He said he does a lot of the things. His son was a heck of a basketball player. An attorney now. LeBradford Smith dropping in the free throws. Good afternoon for LeBradford. 21 points, under a minute to play. Well, I'll tell you what. Waldman certainly has gotten a lot of airtime this afternoon, made the most of it. And you'll want to tune in for John Madden's Super Bowl special coming up next. Listen to the big guy and see what he thinks about tomorrow's 25th Super Bowl down in Tampa, Florida. That'll be coming up after basketball. Great to see those two back, huh, Pat? Mm -hmm. And John? No doubt about it. That looked good. Boy, Waldman's in on everything. 
including the foul here. He's been given everything he has. Some of it hasn't turned out too well. And this will clean up your three second area and eliminate the need of ball boys. Almost caught fire, isn't it, so far? <laughs> You will have your time, H. Mm -hmm. He gives it an H of an effort, I'll tell you. <laughs> Boy, you're on a roll. As is LeBradford Smith, 24 points, 10 assists on the afternoon in a losing effort. And Melvin Love, number 40, the big man I was telling you about, with the foul. This is like an overtime game for Vegas. It's down to 15. Mm -hmm. They usually don't have them this close. And again, an indication of how Tark is not running up the score. No. Brewer, for three. And also how Louisville has hung tough. Won't give up. Smith. Foul. Well, that's as close as you're going to get. You know, Billy, you really have to like this Louisville team continuing to battle no matter the odds. But yesterday, I got a kick out of him. I said, you know, you're so competitive. It's got to be tough on you. He said, I want to win, but we're playing hard. And I think that's all you can ask of your players. And then he has gotten that response. L.A. in... Select company in terms of pro scouts showing something today. I think mm -hmm. he will be highly thought of after this afternoon. We'll be looking at this tape as well back in the front office. As LeBradford Smith leads the game with 26 points and 10 assists. And down to 10. Ooh, almost got one. Look at this kid though. Tell he can't handle. Case. Good hustle on the defensive end for Louisville. Well, Waldman didn't go between his legs. He's wearing those baggy pants, so he went behind the back. For a reason, though. There was traffic. It's okay to use the dribble wisely. Love. Spencer on the follow. So UNLV wins it by 12 here in Freedom Hall, avenging the loss here two years ago by 18 to the Cardinals. Denny Crum, record falls to 7-9. Hey, wouldn't it be great if you could just get away from it all right now and go fishing? Yeah, just you, a couple of friends, some fish, <laughs> and a beautiful supply of beer, like Keystone. The premium cold filbert beer in a can that tastes like beer in a bottle because of Keystone's specially lined can. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if the only other person for miles around was the pizza delivery guy? Keystone and Keystone Light. Bottle beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? Sharp. New business needs demand new thinking. Sharp thinking about business. Introducing the Master Series Copier Duplicator, Sharp's most advanced high-speed copying system. So productive it can copy, collate, and finish the most complex documents with ease. Sharp thinking. It's built into all Sharp copiers, and it's made Sharp number one in customer satisfaction. Sharp thinking about business. The new Master Series Copier Duplicator, the leader of the Sharp copier line. 160 horses. That's what Chevy S10 packs into the biggest V6 engine ever put in a compact pickup. Enough power to help switch more truck owners to Chevy last year than to any other truck. The move to Chevy is becoming a stampede. More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. Now it's easy to win with the heartbeat. Dangerous seas and a drowning woman place her rescuers in jeopardy. It's a terrible feeling of frustration to not be able to help somebody. Rescue 911, Tuesday. This CBS News special report is part of our continuing coverage of the war in the Gulf. From CBS News headquarters in New York, here is Bob Schieffer. 
Williams and LeBradford Smith of Louisville, 26 points and 11 assists. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated to each college's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. And we'll be back with a closing thought here from Freedom Hall in Louisville, Kentucky, after this. Dean Witter believed one thing that should distinguish his brokers is their ability to listen. Listen not only to what our clients say, but what they mean. I have a vision about retirement. I know Each client has a level of comfort. You know me, I'm a planner. There is no greater dividend a firm can earn than the confidence of its clients. You've helped me make some good decisions. There are many ways to measure success. We measure success one investor at a time. Strength Rolaids Antacid. Stronger because it has more calcium carbonate, more than any Tums tablet, and salt free. More calcium carbonate and salt free. This settles it once and for all. Painful sore throat and no chloroseptic spray? That's okay. Chloroseptic lozenges actually work like this spray to penetrate nerve endings and stop pain fast. Great tasting chloroseptic lozenges. Fast relief when you're away from your spray. At BASF, we don't make the plane. We make it lighter. We don't make the lotion. We make it smoother. We don't make the dress. We make it brighter. We don't make the carpet. We make it tougher. At BASF, we don't make a lot of the products you buy. We make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF, the spirit of innovation. So for Bill Raftery and Andrea Joyce, I'm James Brown saying so long from Freedom Hall, where the final score is UNLV 97, Louisville 85. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the NCAA Basketball Championship.